So as you may have been able to tell from that little video you just watched, lately I've been watching a lot of videos from Daniel Schiffer where he makes these crazy food and beverage commercials just in some room in his house. And I really wanted to try to do something like that for myself and maybe even make up some of my own effects just to see if it's even possible for me to do alone in my house. But since I'm pretty much broke as hell, I want to show you how I made this whole video which is a $500 camera and stuff already laying around my house. So let's get started. So the only film equipment that I used for this video was this Panasonic Lumix G7 camera with this 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens. This is actually the first camera I ever bought and I got it for like 500 bucks three years ago. I'm also using these softbox lights that I got on Amazon for around $80. These lights are super nice because you can change the temperature of the light and they're pretty damn nice for how cheap they are. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check them out for yourself. For the backdrop of this video, I just wanted to stick with black since it would be easier to mask things out and hide any noise later on while I'm editing. So I set this up earlier and all it is is a black bed sheet duct taped to a few metal bins I found in my basement. It's as cheap as it gets and it'll probably fall down like 30 times throughout the making of this video. To start off, I just want to get a whole bunch of establishing shots of the bottle just so I have plenty to work with while I'm editing. And a trick that I see a lot of the pros use is to spray the bottle with mist to make the bottle look cold. So I have an old hairspray bottle here with some water in it and I'm gonna try it out. This is a Corona commercial, so we gotta have some limes in it, and we're actually gonna be cutting them on the cutting board that I made in my seventh grade woodshop class. It's the first time I'm ever gonna use this thing, and it probably still has sawdust on it. Next, I want to make it look like the bottle cap is popping off of the bottle, coming in focus above the table, and then coming back down and hanging knife. It'll make sense when you see it, but to do that, I have this crazy setup behind me. We got the camera up top looking down at the table. We have some yellow Amazon packaging, sort of as my green screen so I can key out the bottle cap later. And to hold the tripod down, we have the tripod duct taped to a cardboard box on a desk chair. Try to tell me that's not professional. Next, I want to make it look like the bottle cap is hitting the knife and the knife goes flying up in the air. So I have the knife attached to a fishing string and I'm going to lean it up against the line. Then I have to drop this bottle cap and lift this at the exact same time that they hit. Something like this. Then that's going to make it look like it's flying through the air. I have no idea if this is going to work and it probably won't. So for the part where the knife's actually flying through the air and cutting the lime, all I need is just a picture of the knife and later in post I can make it look like it's spinning through the air. So we got a fish tank here and we're gonna drop some limes in it. So it's important that we don't get any reflections in the glass when we're dropping the limes in. So to prevent that, I have this black cardboard box with a hole cut in it for the camera, just so we don't get any reflections of myself or the camera while we're filming. So real quick, I want to get a shot of the fizz, so all I'm going to do here is just get a shot of me pouring some of the drink into this glass. Now all I need is one last shot of the bottle, sort of as a hero shot to finish off the video.
So now that everything's filmed, all that's left to do is edit. So I just spent the last week editing this video, and it took a while, mainly just because of how many masks I had to make, and it took me a while to figure out how to make all the effects look natural, but with everything finished, here's the final video. Make sure you guys check out Daniel Schiffer's channel, he makes a lot of incredible stuff and it's where I got a lot of inspiration for this video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.